I would like to thank the Tony Blair Faith Foundation for honoring International Women's Day 2013 with this series of videos entitled, Is Religion Good for Women? The work of the foundation to build bridges between communities of faith has been unmatched, and I am proud to be associated with such an innovative approach to making our world a better place. My name is Farah Pandith, and I am the Special Representative to Muslim Communities at the U.S. Department of State. My mandate is to engage with Muslims around the world, Muslims in Muslim-majority countries and Muslims that live as minorities. I am focused on youth under the age of 30 because most Muslims in the world make up this demographic. What the Tony Blair Foundation is doing syncs closely with my mission to open up conversations and increase partnership across diverse landscapes. Talking with one another and taking the time to understand perspectives is critical. I have visited nearly 80 countries to engage and listen. Through my visits and my work in Washington, I have paid close attention to the shift in cultural and religious identity that is impacting Muslim women in Europe and globally. Geopolitical strife, religious tension, and the increasing easy access to information, good and bad, is placing a complex set and unprecedented combination of pressures on Muslim youth. Questions about the navigation of identity can be seen from Argentina to Zanzibar. What is important too are new elements taking place for women. In many places, due to cultural constraints as well as history and politics, they are the least equipped to properly navigate these pressures. At the same time, women have the greatest impact on how Muslim communities develop in the coming generation. How women take part in their communities directly impacts the ideas around mutual understanding, education, tolerance, and collaboration. We know that women are central to the fabric of their communities. They are the primary caregivers and teachers of children. And often, it is the women who make cultural and social change possible. Unfortunately, Traditional and cultural norms, forged in the past and perpetuated into daily life today, sometimes keep some Muslim women from making independent assessments of their own values and customs, making them particularly vulnerable to outside extremist voices and foreign negative ideologies. We need to talk about these changing trends and understand their impact. For example, I have observed that local dress and social behavior in places outside of the Middle East is starting to shift to conform to traditions that echo a foreign culture rather than their own. These norms often restrict the participation of women in civic and professional life. I have come into contact with women who feel that they don't have the space they need to push back against these ideologies. I have also met women who want their voices heard and have developed organic and new platforms both online and offline to speak out. The U.S. Department of State, working with organizations like the Tony Blair Faith Foundation, can help build bridges to communities and within communities so that women live out their potential and enjoy freedoms of all kinds and pass on that sense of empowerment to their children. I wish you much success in your endeavor to promote religious peace and harmony. Thank you.